Yet if I had a dollar for every time I had trouble sleeping, I think we'd be able to buy a better mattress. We probably would. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. We are humbled that for over 30 years, we've been able to come alongside you, not only selling, buying, and investing in real estate over 3,117 times. Yes, I'm counting on my fingers. That's a lot. But it doesn't really work. Anyway, where we get to share not only that, but how to build our faith, how to build our fun, how to build our fitness and our finance, and even strengthen, heal, and flourish inside our relationships. We're going to discover that even though we set great goals and visions and ideals for our health and our body and our mind, sometimes it's hard to accomplish. And our house, we have even more ways that our house, our home, can help us accomplish them. That's right. So we're going to talk about that. And since I had the joke about the mattress, a good quality mattress will help you reach your health and fitness and mind goals. Because if you sleep well, your mind's going to be better. If you sleep well, your internal body can heal. And you're fresher to reach all your other goals and exercise and whatever. And what I think a lot of people don't realize is how much time do you spend in bed? It depends on who you are. Yeah. But it's going to be at least 25 to 30% of your time. If you sleep eight hours, it's going to be a third. One third, eight Mm -hmm. hours a night is one third of your life you're in bed. And how much money in the grand scheme of things do people spend on their mattress? Not enough. Not enough for most. Right. And sometimes not often enough because they do wear out. And then you maybe, I feel like I'm a commercial for sleep country. It could be, (laughs) you know, you, you wake up and you're a little stiff, you're sore, and you think, oh, it's just age, I'm getting a little older. But no. Like we changed our mattress. We had had it for about 12 years. And I thought, wow, we've had this mattress for 12 years. So I changed it. I like the old one better than the new one. But, you yeah, know, you're sleeping better. So My that's back worth is better. Something. Yeah. yeah, that's worth something. Because it was sinking in too much yeah. for me. So it would cause a, a sore back. Right. My side wasn't sinking. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, a, that's actually connected to our home too, is making sure that the things that are in your home help you move towards your goals yeah, rather than against them. That's that 60 pound difference. I'm sinking in the mattress. You're not. You're a featherweight. Uh, <laughs> so other ways that our house can serve us. We talked about staircase mm-hmm. and the staircase can help us or it can hinder us depending on our attitude toward the staircase. So it's not only the physical attributes of our house that can help or help or hinder us toward our goals. It's actually our perspective and our attitude. Yeah. I've had people say, I love my staircase because it keeps me young. It keeps me fit. I'm up and down. I'm up and down. Some people want the laundry on the, you know, the main floor or they want the laundry upstairs. Other people said, I don't care if it's in the basement. I go up and down those stairs carrying baskets. It's great exercise. It's all mental. Well, it is. And it's also the season of life that we're in. Yeah. Right? Because if it's more difficult to navigate the staircase, then it's a little more demanding to have a good attitude about it. It It's true. We don't want you to fall down your stairs Mm -mm. because you're carrying a basket of laundry in front of Mm -mm. you. You can't see your feet. Exactly. Yeah. So let's go back to the bedroom for a minute, though. Okay. Let's do that. Because... Our primary bedroom, often, you have to admit it if it's true for you, because it's been true for me more than once, and that is my primary bedroom becomes the catch-all for all the stuff that's around the house that isn't where it's supposed to be. If things Mm. didn't get put away where it needed to be to make it easier to accomplish my goals, because it's easier when you have a tidy environment, so that's part of the house house hack or vision Mm -hmm. hack, it just often has been chucked into the primary bedroom and now it's not a restful place. And even if I have a brand new awesome mattress, I still didn't sleep good. Right. So many things on your mind when you go to bed. Yeah. So keeping the environment conducive to accomplishing your goals. Right. And one of those things for mind, body, soul centering is to have an area where there are no electronics. And for us, we have a couple rooms like that. The bedroom is one of them. Yeah. A lot of people put a TV in a bedroom. 
that kind of almost ruined our marriage. So no TV in the bedroom, no electronics in the bedroom. No, We've broken the rule once the or twice. The odd time, but then it's like a treat. Okay, let's take the laptop in and watch a movie. The laptop. The laptop. <laughs> let's take the laptop into the bedroom and we'll watch a movie in bed. And that's that. But that's like once a year. It's not habitual, right? I got it. That's what makes a big difference. It does. So writing it down and putting it in your face, writing down your vision, writing down your body goals, your mind goals, your your goals, your health goals, maybe on the mirror. Ken didn't love it when I put lipstick all over the mirror, <laughs> but it certainly helped me. And we have this great cloth that actually cleaned it all up, but maybe it doesn't go on your mirror. Maybe it goes on a window. We used erase, erasable markers mm -hmm. and made sure they were a color. You could see them through the window, especially when you pulled the blind down, just to keep it in front of me because the post-it notes work too, especially the 12 by 12s or the 24 by 30. You can put those up with your visions and your goals. I've done that at different times yep. until I stopped seeing them. And well, Hold on, hold on. You said something very important. Until she stopped seeing them. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is the mind gets used to your goals, like gets used to not so much the goals, but the sheet of paper you wrote them on. And then you don't notice it anymore. You don't read it. So move that. That's what's great about the post-it notes. You can move it onto a different door. You can put it on the mirror. You can put it around the house in different places. And then you go, oh, what's that? And then you, it keys you to remember, right? Right. Uh, and if you want to connect with us, because we are missing hearing from you, you want your vision to speak to you. So you're part of our vision in that we love sharing what we've learned over the last I guess 43 years together, but really the last 32 count because the first handful weren't so great. So it's more what we learned to do in the latter 30 odd years of our marriage. And so we want you to text me, actually, please text me at 613-863-6058, 613-863-6058 and say, I listen. It is harder to keep the vision alive when it's a one way, when there's no feedback. Mm. So get feedback on your vision and let your house give you feedback. Yeah. Like even <clears throat> doing the stairs, we're back to that staircase again. But I know, or we sit down on the floor and stand back up. I know when I haven't been doing it because then it's near impossible to do it. So my house is telling me I can't or can do something. Yeah. And so you, you leave out a mat to remind mm -hmm. you to do your stretches. Yep. Uh, you can leave your your running shoes by the door, mm -hmm. so you you know. Oh, I'm going to go for a walk right. or run if you're a runner. Personally, I don't like running unless I'm chasing a ball. Oh, I was going to say instead of you're chasing me. <laughs> well, that's true. Set your lighting up in the room conducive to the activity that you want to have going on in the room. Yeah, if you want to pray and meditate, then you want a softer lighting, mm -hmm. and you want to have a comfortable chair and just set your home up for success for your mind and body goals is mm -hmm. what we're trying to say. It right? is. And the other thing we want to make sure, we don't want to tell you like we got all the answers. We don't. We had lots of things that didn't work. But every suggestion you're hearing us make on this show or any episode, just try it on like you try on a coat. When mm -hmm. you go to the store, you try it on, see if it fits. If it doesn't, you hang it back up. Treat everything we say exactly the same way. Yeah. So what are you going to do today? Mm. It's simple to do. It's simple not to do. And we're grateful that you joined us on Life's Inside Track because together, we've got this. Moving forward with